we're going to um, find out how to make some repeating patterns. It's going to end up looking like this. Uh, there are three to do. Feel free to change the shapes, the colors, all that good stuff. So, create a new project, file new, okay, and I'm going to make it three inches by three inches, and this time the resolution is going to be 300. Okay, it's white is is fine. There, it's pretty big. This is only 66 percent. Select the ellipse tool. So make sure that the you've reset the default foreground and background colors by clicking on the little black and white squares. Okay, and then you draw a mouse. You're going to draw your circle. There we have it. Hold shift to get a perfect shape. Okay, so far so good. This should create a circle that just fits inside your shape. Then I'm going to dump my color in. So far so good. Duh. Delete, deselect that. Now draw another one and I'm going to swap them around. I'm going for black and white. You don't have to and you're going to draw another circle but slightly smaller inside it and then just move it into place. There we are. And I'm going to pour white in here. Deselect. And I'm going to keep doing this for a few times. S making the, the circles increasingly, if you could say that, smaller. Increasingly smaller. Dump your color in. The more you do, the more effect you'll have the greater the effect. So I'm rushing because I don't have a whole lot of time. Move that. Alrighty. Bullseye. You could keep going. I'm going to stop there right now. Okie dokie. And then I'm going to get the crop tool and I'm going to end up cropping off half uh, three quarters of it. So from here to here. Where am I? Right in the middle, about there, do you think? That should set the bounding box. I missed it. Here we go. I'm trying to get a, a, a kind of a quarter pie. I'll go with that. Double click to embed. There you have it. Okay, we're going to decorate the artwork by filling in the white areas with squares and circles and I'll put in a circle and I'm going to have little black ones, right? So I draw, I can hold down my shift and I draw my circle and throw in that control C, control V and just move it, there's another one, control V again just little decorations and there's one in here and then I'm going to have a little square dump my color in there control C, control V, you notice we're getting layers appearing over here that's absolutely fine that looks good I might do another one and see what that looks like although I'm a believer in less being more However, what do you think? Good to go? Alright, we are... Uh, save it now. So make sure that you're saving as a JPEG, not PSD. Where's my JPEG? There it is. And I'm going to save on my desktop. And this is good, we're JPEGing. Exit from this, no, you don't want to save it. Open up your JPEG. We'll work on the JPEG now. There's my untitled copy. We're going to create a new work area. So we're going to have new. And this time it's going to be 3 inches, not pixels. 3 inches by 3 inches. 300. Good to go. It looks like the same size as your other work, but all will be revealed. All right take your original one and drag and drop and then move into position I'm going to exit from this 
This is at 66 percent. So you see the artwork is smaller than the new work area. Okay, I've moved the artwork up at the top. And how big is this? I'm going to zoom out so that I can see it all. There we go. I think that that is going to be too big. So I'm going to control T, hold the shift key, and that way you can constrain proportions. Enter to embed. The more often you can get it to repeat, the better the effect, you know. Okay, there it is. Duplicate the layer, control J. There we have it. And then move this into place. I'm going to have four of them and then just maybe rotate them. Um, edit, transform, rotate. See what that looks like. Okay, dokey, enter to embed it. Perfect. Control J. And then I move that in there. I've got this white section. I will move that over there. And then click on this is two. Move that down there. Control J. We get another one. Move it into place. That is looking pretty spiffy. Now, what I'm going to do, you could keep repeating this, but I'm going to merge all of those down. Control E to merge down. One, two, three, there, I have them all merged. Control J to duplicate it, and that's how you'd get your repeating effect. And Control J. The smaller you make this, folks, the better the effect. I've had to rush, and I'm only putting, say, four of these in. If they were half the size, in fact, I might do that. Control E, E, E. Okay, Control J. There we have it. Control T to transform. I'll make it half the size. And I copy paste that. That would be the but I'm gonna I will give up with this, apply it. I'll delete that. Okay, that is our repeating. Double click. And it's going to end up the more the more times that you can repeat it the better. This is this is too big, but you should end up with here we are something like that. See that nice effect? So three of those to do.